Hi, I'm SWEAT instructor Brittany Williams, and I'm here with Women's Health to go through a 30-minute full-body bar class. I hope you're doing well today and ready to work out. All you're gonna need is a light pair of dumbbells. I have three pounds. You can use anything from two to eight pounds. You can go higher if you'd like. Uh, you also can use whatever you have around home. Soup cans, jug of water, carton of milk, whatever it is that works for you, you can use it. You're also gonna need a yoga mat or, or in some space around the mat as well to move freely. If you're a beginner at bar or at working out, no problem. I'll provide modifications for everything we'll do today, but please listen to your body. If you need to take a break, if you need some water, please grab it. Listen to your bodies for first and foremost, please, please, please. All right, let's get started. We'll do a warm up, then we'll go into arm work, leg work, and then finish off with core. So we'll come started in a plank position. You're gonna come to a plank position with your feet hip width apart and your hands underneath your shoulders. Make sure you're pressing away from the ground and your core is engaged. We're gonna start with a pike to plank. So you're gonna pike in a down dog and come forward in a plank. Pike, plank. I really want you to press away from the floor and think about pushing up as you come to the down dog. If this is too much, I want you to hold in your plank and really focus on form, abs and tight. We'll repeat this series two times through. All right, now hold it in your plank. We'll do windshield wiper uh, in the plank. So extend one leg, draw it to the elbow, the opposite elbow, back to the elbow and back. Switching sides as you go. In, across, in, across. If this is too much, just knee to elbow. Don't worry about going to the opposite elbow. You also can come down to the ground and extend the leg from there, from the knees. That's totally fine. This is just the warm up. So take this at your pace. Knee, opposite, knee, back. In, across, in, back. Good, one more. Now, come up to standing. Bring your feet wide, toes face forward, squats. Down, up, down, up. The goal of the warm up is to invite big range of motion into the body. You wanna get the heat building. You wanna connect with your breath here. In your squat, you sink down low and back through the hips, keeping the chest tall and proud. Let's add a knee lift. As you come up, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, and make sure there's a smile on your face. Make sure you're relaxed here. You're safe, you're good. You're just warming up the body. Every change in today's class is 30 seconds, so you won't hold anything for more than 30 seconds. Breathe. Now, both feet down, pulses. So, just a little movement. Small pulses down to activate the thighs as well as the glutes. That's what I love about bar. Nothing really lasts too long. Keep your brain moving. Um, I don't know, just keeps you engaged. Keeps me engaged at least. Uh, and in the work, because it's constantly changing. Pulse. So this was one set. We're gonna do that one more time through. I almost said two more times through, but just one. Carefully come back down to your plank. Hands on the ground. Pike, plank. Downward dog, press away, then roll forward. I love this feeling in my back, waking up through my shoulders. Really engage the core the whole way through to build heat throughout the core, which is really gonna be the stem and the starting point of all of our movement today. Good. Hold it here, windshield wipers. Lift the leg, same elbow, across, back, down. In, across, in, out. Remember, you can take this from your knees or just hold a plank if you're on your knees. You're alternating extensions of the leg, squeezing through the glutes to warm up the back side of the leg. Good. Now come to standing. Set the feet out wide, squats. Down, up, breathe. 
exhale as you lift and reach the arms back. Remember, full body here. So even as we squat, which is a lower body exercise, you can invite movement into the arms to build heat as well through the arms because we're gonna need it. Inhale, exhale. Good, now add your knee lift. Lift, down, lift. Make sure your core stays tight. If you find yourself wobbling or if your core can't stay tight as you lift the knee, just stay in your squat. You're good, come on. One change left in our warm up. Lift, down, lift. All right, both feet down, pulses to finish. Maybe this time you bring your arms overhead. That's gonna make it harder. You're gonna find this length through the torso. Make sure your chest stays lifted so you're not here, you're up. If this is too much, hands to the hips or to prayer. That's it, almost at our finish line for our warm up here. Can you sink a little bit lower? Finding the burn, I know you can. That's it, breathe. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Carefully release, great work. Let's move on to, uh, uh, to arms. Grab your weights. So we're gonna start with a in a crescent lunge with a tricep kickback. Depending on what kind of weights you're using, you can bring both weights in one hand or you can use just one weight in your hand. I recommend trying it with both. If you're like, nope, not working for me, you can always drop down to one. Um, really just depends on um, what you're down for today. So you're gonna turn uh, facing the side of the mat. Left foot faces forward, right foot back in a crescent lunge. So your back leg is gonna be straight, front leg is bent. Hinge forward, your right hand will come to your thigh, both weights or one weight in your left hand. We're gonna do a tricep kickback. So keep your elbow back behind you. Then you're gonna extend and bend through the arm. So reach back, bend in. Reach back, bend in. This is gonna be for the back of the arm, the tricep. You wanna squeeze the back of the arm. Make sure your elbow stays lifted. You're just bending and extending, finding length. And again, if this is too much with two weights, drop to one. Breathe. Every change, 30 seconds, like I said. All right, now hold the arms straight, tiny pulses. This is where you may regret <laughs> taking two weights and that's okay. Pulse, pulse, tiny lifts up. Uh, but don't regret it, that's how you get stronger, by challenging yourself. Lift, lift. So the arm is straight and your tiny pulses up, up. That's it, we're not here for long. Lift, lift. Now, reach the arm in front of you. You're gonna pulse twice in a row, then you're gonna come up and pulse in a bicep curl. So it's row, row, curl, curl. Row, row, curl, curl. So it's a crescent lunge, back leg straight, then it's a lunge, back leg bent, as you bicep curl. Whew, good. Now, you're gonna hold it in your lunge. You're gonna hammer curl, shoulder press, down, up. I'll show you from the front. You're holding it in your lunge, press up, down, all the way down. So hammer curl, shoulder, down, down. Core is engaged, you're low in your lunge. This is too much. Just come to standing. You can even bring your hand to your core to help feel that engagement. Good. Now hold in your lunge, tiny pulses. Pulse and pulse. If you want to, you can bring one weight to either hand, but I really want you to isolate the work on the left side if you can. Tiny pulses of the bicep, pulses of the thighs. Get low, pulse, pulse, shoulders relaxed. We're gonna do the whole thing on the other side in just a second. Pulse. Pulse, lower and lower. Ooh, I feel these two weights. Good, for three, two, one. Same thing, other side. Turn to face the side of your mat. Right foot forward, left foot back. Left leg is straight, front leg is bent. 
abs in tight, one or two weights, whatever you did on the other side, repeat it here. Draw the elbow back. You're gonna start with your tricep kickbacks. Extend, bend, extend, bend. Breathe. Now, if you're feeling any low back pain here, sometimes in this hinge position, we really start to feel it. I want you to come up for a second, take a second, and then hinge forward, keeping both feet forward. And take a break when you need to. That's gonna help with your stability. Two flat feet is gonna be more stable than this back high heel. But if you don't need it, then don't take it. Whew, all right, hold it long, tiny lifts, lift, lift. This is the hard part. Tiny pulses up and up. Your palm faces up. Your shoulder presses back and you are squeezing through your tricep, the back of the arm. Lift, lift. Again, if you need a second, stand up completely straight. Take a second then get back into the work. Lift, lift, abs tight. Lift, whoo, my arm is burning. Come on, up, up. We have that bent over row to bicep curl combination next. We'll get a break for the triceps. All right, here we go. Row, row, curl, curl. Row, row, curl, curl. So it's pull back, then curl with the weights in front of you. Straight leg, back leg, bent back leg. Pull, pulse, pull, pull, pulse, pulse. Come on, pull. Pull, pulse, pulse. Good, now hold it in your lunge. Hammer curl, shoulder press. Find the movement and the tempo that works for you. See how my shoulders are over my hips, my back is completely straight, and I'm holding it low in my lunge. Remember your modification. If you need to come to both feet and ditch the lunge, that's fine. Breathe. Just like that, we only have one change left in arms. You can do this. You can do this, abs tight. Can you sink a little lower? Hammer curl pulse to finish. Come on, pulse, pulse, pulse through your thighs and the arm. So it's a deep contraction, getting tighter and tighter through your right arm. Come on, pulse, pulse, that's it, that's it. If you're on one weight, maybe you grab two for these last few seconds, come on. Pulse, pulse, we're almost done. We're almost done. Breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Carefully release. Set your dumbbells aside, throw them aside if you, if you want. We're done with them. No more dumbbells. Grab a sip of water. Leg work is gonna be on the ground. Thank you. I love ground leg work because it allows you to focus really on the muscles that we're gonna be working. So I'll let you know what I want you to focus on, but know that just because we're gonna be on the ground doesn't mean it's gonna be easy. Okay, so come, uh, we'll start with my right side down. So my right side is gonna be down, and I'm gonna rest my head in my hand on the right side. You wanna make sure your shoulders are stacked, and you're gonna draw your knees all the way into your chest. Your left hand is gonna press into the mat so you're lifted up. You wanna make sure you're not sinking in you're proud and lifted. Now, squeeze the outer glutes to lift the top leg. You're gonna do an internal and external rotation. So you're gonna tap the knees, then the toes. Knees, toes. So this rotation, you're gonna find the work in the hip. I'm a runner and I tend to have really tight hips, so I love doing this work because it really allows me to move my lower body in ways that I usually don't on a day-to-day -day basis, which is so good to round out the work. All right, now tap the knees, extend back. Tap, extend. Why don't you extend slightly on the back diagonal? So instead of being straight out to the side, it's straight, it's slightly back. So tap the knees, back. As you extend behind you, squeeze your glutes. So release, contract the glutes. Contract, contract. That's really all about connecting here. Let's add on. Tap the knee, extend, tap the floor, lift. Knee, extend, tap, lift. So it's contract, release, contract, 
release. Ooh, this already burns. Oh yes. I also love that about bar. Low impact, here we are on the ground laying down, but instead of taking a nap, we're working our glutes. Whew, good, one more. Now, hold it up, we're gonna do a bicycle. So you're gonna come forward, then slide back. Come forward, slide back. Good. Find that full range. You can move your arm forward if you need. Halfway through, reverse directions. One direction's gonna be easier than the other. So you're gonna drive the knee to the elbow, then extend. Now, I want you to hold it in front of you, tiny circles. This is that burn point. Draw a circle with your toe. If you're back here, and that's as far as you can get your leg, that's okay. But I want your knee to be as close to your chest as you can. Switch directions. Ooh, you guys, I am shaking. My big toe is shaking and that's what we want. You're finding this work all down the side. All right, now we're gonna do tiny lifts. This is gonna burn. Little lifts, little lift. Leg is completely straight. And again, if you're back here, that's fine. But if you can bring your kneecap forward a little bit more, that's what I want. Really press through the left hand so you're leaning forward. If this is too much, you can bend the knee and lift from here. That's your modification. But I want you to try to keep the leg as straight as you can. So even if it's like a three quarter bend here, that's fine. Lift and lift. We come to our back in a second. Keep with it. Good, carefully release. Now come to your back. You're going to keep the leg that was working, the left leg comes into the air. The right leg is long. Turn out the left leg so the kneecap faces out and point your toe. You're gonna extend, bend, extend, bend. You wanna keep, again, this inner thigh faces your chest. So you're in a turnout position and you're reaching up. Like a string is pulling your big toe up. All right, good. Now hold it straight, bring your hands behind your head and lift the chest. Isometric hold, nothing moves. Lift up, shoulders are lifted, leg is completely straight. Can you bring your leg closer to your body? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Breathe, lift up higher. Breathe. This should burn this inner thigh here. Come on. Breathe, strong point, strong point. We're almost there. We're almost there, breathe. Breathe, yes. Carefully release, good work. Now, both feet come to the ground, knees are bent, feet are hip width apart. Your upper body's gonna stay on the mat. You're gonna perform a glute bridge. So lift, lower, lift, lower. Squeeze your glutes to lift yourself. So all of this movement stems from the glutes. Up, down, up, down. Good, now we were moving the left leg earlier. That leg is gonna stay still here. So keep the left leg down, hold the hips up, just your right leg, lifts, tap, lift, tap. So we're still working the left side, even though we're lowering and lifting the right leg. You're having to hold a deep contraction in the left glute and hamstring to hold your hips up as high as you can. If this is too much, hold both feet on the ground and just hold here. You're still gonna get a great workout. You're doing what? Great. Now, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna add a lower and lift of the hips. This is gonna make it harder. Again, if this is too much, Maybe you just stay here. That's okay. That's okay. Lower, lift, lower, lift. My left hamstring, I feel it, it's talking to me and that's what I want for you, come on. Lower, lift. All right, hold it up, tiny pulses of the hips. So you're just gonna pulse up higher and higher. Again, if this is too much, your foot can come to the ground. You can even come to your tippy toe of the right tippy toe if you want, keeping the left leg uh, down. The left leg is where the work should be. Lift higher, come on. This is the last change. Breathe. Well, we gotta do the whole thing on the other side, but this is the last change for this side. Good, for five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Great work. All right, like I said, let's repeat it on the other side. Okay, so you're gonna come down onto your left arm this time. Rest your head. 
Knees are gonna come towards the chest. Knees are bent. Right hand presses into the ground. Abs are in tight. Relax, catch your breath here. All right, you're gonna start with that knee to toe tap. So tap the knees, toes, knees, toes. External and internal rotation. This is the external, this is the internal. You're really thinking about your outer hip. So think about opening through the hip. Whew. You could literally do this while you're watching TV. That's what's great, is that all this series can be done on the ground, in the comfort of your own home. Don't need any equipment here, which I love. We need more of that. All right, let's add the extension. Tap the knee, extend. Knee, extend. Make sure your core is in tight and your hips are in line. So make sure you're not leaning back or too far forward. You wanna stay completely like in this uh, parallel position with the body. Remember, you're squeezing on the back diagonal and you're focusing on the outer side of the glutes. All right, let's add on. Tap the knee, extend, lower, lift. Knee, squeeze, floor, squeeze. And I say squeeze because I want you to actually squeeze the glutes. In, squeeze tight, lower, squeeze tight. Really here, I think my, my biggest tip for beginners is to focus on the mind-body connection. It's less about the result, it's less about what you're gonna see in your body. If you can really focus on that mind-body connection, a lot will happen. All right, let's do those bicycles. So knee to the elbow, extend forward, all the way back. If you focus first on connecting with your mind, the rest will come, I promise. Now switch directions. Oh, I think this direction's harder for me. A little tighter. Whew. Now hold it forward, circles. Remember your modifications. If this straight leg is too much, you can bend the knee a little bit, you can bend it a lot, but you're still circling through the hip. If you can have your legs straight, it's, it's back here, that's okay, but I want you to try to bring the kneecap as close to the elbow as you can. Reverse directions. Small circle, smaller than you think. Smaller than that. Yeah, there it is, good. Here comes that big challenge, tiny pulses up. Tiny lifts, lift, engage your core, it'll help. Press your right hand into the ground, that's it, lift, up and up. You should feel this in the uh, side of your thigh. If you don't, bring the leg a little bit further. Oh yes, I feel it, that's for sure. We come to our back after this, come on. Up and up, strong point of the toe, you've got it. Come on, breathe, close your eyes if you need to. Okay, all right, come to your back. You're gonna extend your leg uh, above you. Rotate so that the knee faces out, strong point of the toe. Extend, bend, extend, bend. This uh, non-working leg can be bent. To make it harder, the leg can be completely straight. It's up to you. But whatever you are, both hips face down, inner thigh faces your chest, and you are relaxed and you have a smile on your face. That's important. All right, now hold the leg completely straight. Hands behind the head, hold it. Again, foot can be flat to make it easier. Extend the leg long to make it harder. You also can lift the leg to make it even harder. That's it, breathe, leg straighter. Bring the knee towards the chest, keep your turn out. Breathe, this is it, this is it, this is it, breathe. Glute bridges are after this. Good, relax, both feet down. Rest your arms long, feet are hip width apart. Glute bridge. We're on the home stretch now. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. You know what's coming. How are you gonna make this set a little bit better than the last? Maybe it's less modifications, maybe it's a deeper contraction through the core. Maybe it's just being nicer to yourself, being more positive. That's fine. Hold it up. Your left leg is gonna move this time. Up, down. Sometimes it's not always about getting in more physical work, and it's about getting in more of a mental release. 
about not beating yourself up so much. You don't have to be perfect. You can take breaks. That's how we get stronger, both physically and mentally. Oh, yes. Can you lift your hips a little higher? Yes, that's it. All right, now you're gonna add the hips. So it's lower, squeeze, lift. Lower, squeeze, lift. Remember, the right leg is our focus. You should find the work in the hamstrings and the glutes on the right side. That's gonna be the back of the leg. You've made it. You only have one change left in your leg series, then we have core, and then we are done. Oh, this class has been so good. Exactly what I needed today. Hopefully it's what you've needed today too. Hold it up, tiny pulses. Tiny lifts of the hip up and up. The right leg should be on fire. Press through your heel to lift higher. Breathe. Do not hold your breath. It does not do you any favors to hold your breath here. Come on, up and up. Oh yes, that's it. Lift, lift, core tight. You're almost done for a five, four, three, two, one. Carefully release. Ooh, I can feel it in my glutes. So it's gonna be a side plank exercise. I'm gonna show you your modifications from the beginning. So at any time, we'll be in a side plank for this entire time. If you wanna come down to your bottom knee, you can. We'll also be doing some movement um, with the hips and with the arm. If that's too much, you also can just hold the side plank here. That's totally fine. So you can either bend the bottom knee or hold a side plank, up to you. So come down to your side plank. You're gonna have your right elbow down, right elbow in line with the shoulder. Then you're gonna lift up, feet are long, legs are straight if you can. Reach your left arm straight in front of you. Make sure your shoulders and hips are stacked and your abs are in tight. We're gonna thread the needle. So you're gonna wrap the waist, reach up. Your gaze follows your fingertips. I love inviting some twists into my exercise. It's a really great way to engage the obliques. Ooh, yeah, that's it. Make sure your hips stay lifted. A few more. Remember your modifications if you need them. Allow yourself to modify if you need. Be nice to yourself. Good. Now you're gonna hold your leg high, except the front leg flat. You're gonna lower, lift the hips. Lower, lift. So all the way down, all the way up. If your arm is tired, hand comes to the hips. My arm is tired, so my hands come into my hips. Simple as that. Squeeze. You're focusing here on your obliques, the bottom oblique. Lift, 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 up. Now hold it up, tiny pulses. If you're feeling up to it, both legs go straight again. I'm up for the challenge, are you? Come on, lift, lift. These are a little bit smaller range. You're working from your, the top of the plank and trying to maximize your range of motion. So a little higher, a little higher. Pinch through this side, find that lift. Breathe, remember if you need to come to your knees and do this, you can. There's nothing wrong with that. Good, switch sides. We're gonna repeat the whole series on the other side. So come to your side plank, thread the needle. Make sure your shoulder is right over your elbow and that you're breathing. Oh, so good. We only have one minute-ish <laughs> till the end of class. Hold the arm up or bring it to your, elbow, your uh, hip. Foot comes flat. Lower and lift the hips. Big range. Really lift up. Squeeze. Squeeze. Yes, come on. Believe in yourself right here. When you're feeling down, when you feel like you cannot do it, you have to believe in yourself, in the improvements that you're seeing, not just in your body, but in your mind. And you take it one day, one exercise at a time. All right, hold it up, tiny lifts, tiny pulses. Remember, bend the knee if you need to, and do not apologize if you have to. Come on, lift, lift. We're almost done. Oh, yes. 
Obliques should be on fire, that side body. Lift, lift. We only have one change left, a little finisher to finish off our class strong, to tell ourselves that we can do it, that we're proud and beautiful. Right here, forearm plank hold. <sighs> Nothing moves, we're here for 30 seconds. I want you to think of something that you are proud of today. Maybe it's something you did in this workout, maybe it's something you did yesterday, but focus on it. Tell yourself, I am proud, I am strong, right here. Breathe, you can do this. You might be a little bit shaky, but tell yourself you've got it. Yes, for five, this is it. Four, three, two, one. Carefully release. Great work, grab some water. Let's stretch. So, come to your back. Whew. You're gonna cross one ankle over your thigh. You're gonna pull everything in close. Ah, oh, great work today. Maybe wiggle side to side, that feels good. Carefully release, switch sides. Oh, wonderful. You should be proud, carefully release, of taking the time to work on you, your mental and physical body. Now come up to standing. Cross one arm to your shoulder, grab onto the opposite elbow, side bend up and over, looking underneath your shoulder. This is stretching the tricep. <sighs> Carefully release. Switch sides. It's not always easy to take the time out for you, but be glad that you did today. It's always worth it. Carefully release. Now clasp your hand you're behind your back. Reach back, proud chest. <sighs> Great work today. Thank you so much for joining me and Women's Health in this 30 minute bar series. I had so much fun. If you wanna see more of my bar workouts, you can download the Sweat app today and try my Bar with Brittany program. I can't wait for you to try it. I'll see you in the next class. Have a great day.